You guys had that wrestling thing, throwing people in tables uh, and shit. Oh, you were here for my comedian X reveal. Is that yeah. what you're saying with yeah. my disciples, the outer circle? That's correct. Oh, you were here for a momentous occasion. I'm the one that wanted to hit Mark Maple. Don't we all want to hit Mark Maple, honestly? <laughs> Fuck, man. It's like, you know, he's got the voice for comedy, and that's it. And he got me books, so, you know, I got to kind of, like, kiss his feet a little bit or whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I, I gotta start playing the game of comedy of kissing motherfuckers' feet. I'm not sure if you comprehend the definition of hit I was referring to. <laughs> Just move on. <laughs> I, I don't even want to go there. Fuck it. All right. Your next comedian who I think wants to fuck Mark Mabel is Rose Nicole. <laughs> Alright. That fellow earlier, I didn't catch his name because I'm forgetful, but he was talking about how the, we don't have the boxing thing here in California like we do in Washington, but we do. I was up in, I was living in Grass Valley, Nevada City, and uh, I had this roommate whom I call the terrible roommate, and he lost my keys during a rainstorm with the windows rolled down to my van, so I pinned him against the wall in Nevada City with one arm, and I beat him with the other arm, and two police officers walked by, and he said, aren't you going to stop her? And they said, listen, buddy, if that little girl is whooping your ass, you deserve it, and they kept going. So, <laughs> we have that here. You just got to be in the right small town. Uh, so now I'm going to move on to current events. You know, we've got our new Cold War, and my neoliberal mother agrees with Senator Graham that uh, the Russian people need to do what it takes to take care of cute and poppin. Cute and poppin. Either she's having some autocorrect issues or she has a murderous crush on a dictator. Honestly, with her, either is possible. But uh, the president of Ukraine, Zelensky, he used to be a comedian himself. And back in 2014, he actually had a whole set that laid out everything that's happening today. And so I, too, want to manifest all of my dreams and goals through comedy. So I've written out a few dreams I want to manifest. Uh, it won't be long before I'm dating the brooding asshole that I'm always telling jokes about. Not Mark Maple, another one. Uh, it won't be long till I'm getting paid to stand up here and give you the impression that you should be laughing at my jokes. Uh, I will find a dream job that pays my mortgage that is only part-time. You don't really got to think about that one. <laughs> I'm going to buy a house in the ghetto in Southern California because with climate change and sea level rise, it will be beachfront property in about 10 years. And the reason I chose Southern California is because I know that the government will remove all the infrastructure in the land that has been inundated with seawater so that yachts can still get out on the ocean, which means I can still surf. And uh, I would also like to get paid to sing because I'm a really good singer. Uh, I did actually look around in Sacramento to see if there were any singing jobs. But the only jobs available for singers here are at churches. You can sing and get paid at churches. But I'm an agnostic tantric Buddhist. So I'm thinking maybe I can sing at Buddhist temples. Oh, fuck it, it pays. Uh, you may be wondering what an agnostic tantric Buddhist is. And that basically just means that you haven't had sex in so long that you think your imagination is better than the real thing. About a year in, I switched hands. And uh, at the end of 2021, I finally did have a partner for a little while. But we only hooked up twice because, as it turns out, my imagination is better than the real thing. <laughs> You've already seen my own face. <laughs> And that is actually, I went too fast, and that is actually all I wanted to do tonight. So we get Cameron back up here for my very short set. Thank you so much. <laughs>